You know when you go to the service station and you want to put air in your tires because they need to be inflated and you go up to the machine which hopefully is one of the digital ones that does it automatically for you and you set the number maybe 32 psi something like that for most cars these days and you go around each wheel you put the um, put the little nozzle on the valve of each tire and you let the machine inflate it up now do you remember to do the spare wheel because lots of people don't and if you don't then one day when you need it you're going to find that the uh, spare wheel that you just put on to replace a flat tire is not much of an improvement um, so you do need to remember to get into the boot wherever the spare tire is um, and inflate it along with all the other tires on the car now normally that's not an issue on my Ford for example you um, just open the boot lift up the uh, floor uh, access the uh, the tire it's right there the tire is um, the valve is facing upwards and it's a um, in this case it's a full-size wheel full-size tire that takes the same pressure as all of the road wheels so it's all very easy there's no complications um, and not, nothing much to criticize on other cars however certain other manufacturers uh, you'll find that uh, things may not be so simple or convenient on this toyota for example it uses one of these uh, space saving wheels which are very common nowadays uh, which in itself is not necessarily a problem but the way it's installed in the car rather is because the they, they place it in the car in such a way that the valve which is on the outside of the wheel is placed over and facing downwards um, so it's inaccessible and if you just uh, get into the boot and lift up the liner that's not enough you can't access the valve like that to inflate it so you have to actually remove the wheel entirely you have to unscrew the uh, the screw nuts which takes a bit of time and then you have to um, lift up the entire wheel uh, which you can't do by the way unless you've taken out the uh, boot liner fully you can't just sort of lift it up at the back you have to remove it completely and then you uh, lift the wheel up and you turn it over and you put it down and uh, then you can access the valve however your troubles are not over yet because uh, even once you accept dealing with that every time you want to do it um, one of the uh, complications of these space saver tires is that they're very high pressure um, this one requires uh, 60 psi to be uh, properly inflated which is nearly double that of the uh, regular road wheels and I mean, that's not a problem for the machine the machine can inflate to uh, quite a lot more than 60 psi without any issues um, the problem is that the reason you're inflating it in the first place is because it loses its pressure over time of course um, because the air just leaks through the rubber or it leaks through the valves just slowly over time um, and of course the higher the pressure is the faster that um, deflation the natural deflation occurs which means that you have to actually check these things and reinflate them if anything more often than the uh, the road wheels despite the fact that ideally you would never use it so you know this just compounds the fact that you can't access it and it makes the whole thing a bit of a headache however i'm not here just to rant about toyota or their design decisions because i um this irritated me once in the rain too many times and i decided to find a solution which is this um, this is simply a schrader valve extension tube um, with a, uh, a brass right angle adapter on the one end of it this is the, uh, the female end that's going to attach to the, uh, the wheel and the other end of course is just a regular regular schrader valve to which you will atta attach the uh, the pump to inflate things and you can see where I'm going with this I I'm going to uh, install this in the car with the wheel you know installed in its regular factory position as intended by Toyota except it's going to have this mounted to it and this hose is just the right length I think it's 10 inches uh, to wrap around the tire and it's going to poke up the top and it's going to let you keep it inflated without having to remove the damn wheel every single time so to install it it's fairly obvious you obviously just uh, take off the plastic cap on the uh, on the original wheel and then you're going to attach the uh, brass fitting on this hose um, as you do it you're going to lose a little pressure just do it as fast as you can and then do it up nice and tight uh, this one uh, it will move on the adapter so you can rotate so you can swivel like this 
you can swivel the hose into the correct orientation the way, way you want it, wrap it around the wheel, and then put the wheel back in place. Um, and then uh, I suggest you uh, test um, inflating the tire to the, the proper pressure. Um, so there, this one's up to 60 psi, no issues. Now you have introduced a few uh, extra potential places of, uh, for leaks. So uh, once you've done this, I would suggest that you uh, leave it for about a week and then go back and check it again and just make sure that it hasn't lost too much pressure, you know, more than you would expect uh, without it being installed. Um, if everything's done up tight and it's in good condition, it should be no different to the, uh, the regular valve on the, um, on the tire. Uh, and the other thing I'll just uh, say in conclusion is when you come to uh, actually use the spare wheel, if and when you ever need to, of course, you are going to have to take this off before you um, mount it to the car in the middle of the night on the side of the road in the rain. And when you do that, you want to do it quickly so that you don't lose any pressure because you will lose a tiny bit um, in the process of disconnecting the, uh, the plug from the Schrader valve on the tire. So to do that, I uh, you, was, you would hold the, uh, the right angle here as still as you can and get your fingers in a good, uh, a good angle and then undo it as quickly as you possibly can. The faster you do it, the less pressure you'll use. And uh, having experimented with it myself a few times, I, it's fine. I, I don't think you lose uh, anything like as much as um, would be a concern. So this is my recommended solution to uh, that little irritation courtesy of Toyota and of course many other manufacturers. I hope that was helpful. Have fun.